Hello everyone, I thought it would be a cool project to develop a rocket flight computer from scratch. So in this series of videos, I will show you my design in every step, including a full PCB design and a 3D printed rocket model. All codes and files will be free for you in description below. Our flight computer consists of microcontroller, IMU, barometer, magnetometer and a GPS. Using the sensors, we can get the orientation and position of the rocket and use the measurements for guidance, navigation and control. In this first video, we are going to handle the yaw control by using the magnetometer. A good flight computer needs a magnetometer in order to know the heading or yaw by sensing magnetic field of the earth. Later, I will combine the heading angle with the gyro yaw rate into a Kalman filter. This method called data fusion and can help estimate more accurately measurements based on two or more sensors. But before we measure the adding angle from the magnetometer, we need first to calibrate it. I will show you two codes. The first used to calculate the offset and scale values used for calibration. The second code will use these values to get the adding direction. In the next video, I will add a gyro using MPU6050 in order to fuse the adding and your rate. So the first step, calibration. Our magnetometer sends the magnetic field in three axes, X, Y and Z. Therefore, to calibrate it, we need to get the max and minimum, maximum and minimum values after rotating the sensor as much as we can in every ori orientation. Pay attention to keep other metallic components from the sensor during the calibration because the sensor get, get affected by other magnetic objects that will ruin your measurements. We will keep rotating the sensor until the iterations finish and we can get the offset and scale values in the serial monitor. The second code, heading reading. Now we use the calibration values and read the angle and check in if the magnetometer is calibrated relative to a real compass. The results will not be perfect but good enough. That's it for the magnetometer setup. In the next video, I will add the gyro and see how it helps our measurements. Thank you guys for watching.